Thank you. And my holy choir. In the beginning was the word, and we looked up in the sky and saw a great ball, which we called God. Or, for those of us who read backwards, we called it dog. And some, who thought of the greater good, called it good. And then, it changed. Everything changed. And we looked up, and it was dark. And between the stars, there were great holes. And we called it donuts. And then, through the holes in the donuts, came the rain, and we called them Timbits. We took those Timbits and we evolved a language for change, which is still happening and still critical in this world of social, environmental, and political change. And we have, on September 24, all over the world, 100,000 poets who will be speaking for change all at the same time. And you're invited to go to the well in Victoria and attend the bash there where everyone is welcome to read a poem or participate in guerrilla poetry all over the city. Now, this is my holy choir. And they've all been given a word for change. And they're going to tell you what their word is and the sentence or proverb or line of poetry that they thought up, their promise to the world for world change. And we're going to start at this end, and what's your word? Bite, B-I-T-E, not B-Y-T-E. Take a real bite out of life. Holy, I promise to look into my life and look for environmental holes in my daily actions and make change. My word is blaze. I guess my pledge is I'll work for no more glazed looks and talk about our obligations to the world around us, those who came before us and those who might come after. <laughs> my word is dough. The dough I optimist is essential for progressive change. <laughs> Mine's not very positive. I just wanted to say that I think that Stephen Harper is in that. <laughs> <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> Thank you very much, Holy Choir, and do stay up because we have more work to do. I too have written words for change, and I'm going to read you a poem which is called Backwards and Forward. And uh, this is to uh, tell you that rhyme does pay, change will find, fall from the poetry if we shake it hard enough. In the beginning, there was a world that needed a word, and the word was good. Master of the unbroken universe, mother of the wheel that breaks like the poet who sings in his change like the sea, like children with begging bowls, begging for new words to plant in the garden of good and evil. This is the dialectic of smash and fix, beautiful verbs, dirty blood filtered through kidneys, dirty air wet cleaned in forests, dirty deeds transformed by alchemists, dirty water washing over stars, our clean windows on the firmament. This is change as simple as breathing. Expired, the soul has weight, and we rediscover the lightness of being, only 21 grams, our holy vocation to catch and release its mystery as the river runs through us, revealing the word that is love made visible. In Byzantium, the words for change are bazook para, meaning broken money, and nothing is lost in translation. Long ago and far away, only hungry beggars would touch those fractured arms. But now that we've cracked the world, an enigma engine that drives itself, everything broken is holy. And that, in the words of the great letter Khan, is how the light gets in. Up on the screen, you see acts of guerrilla poetry, and this is what I'm inviting all of you to do on September 24th and every day of your life. Get out there and write poems on the sidewalk if you're an artist. If you're a school teacher, write poems on your blackboard so that the children absorb the mysteries of the universe. If you're a baker, put uh, poems and icing on your cake. Find a way to bring us together using language because language has the power to make the one in the many or the one of the many. Release your thoughts because they become words. Release your words because they become habits. Release your habits 
for they become character. Release your character because it becomes your destiny. Now, I'm going to ask one of you to be linear kid. That's Mother Earth and she's Aiken. Now, in the past, we've always thought it would take special people to make change, but we all know now that it, it is incumbent upon all of us to participate in it. And this is my breakdown of the word genius. It's the gene for joining the I and the us. And as we commit our random acts of poetry, our acts of loving grace, we become the one. And all of us have a part in it. Even those people who've been marginalized, by language and language judgment. I'm asking all of you to consider the people who write backwards and forwards. Consider the people who speak different language. Let's listen to all of us speaking together. And it's dyslexia. We're all different and we use language in different ways, but our raised voices together make one hell of a holy choir. Just like this one. Okay, we have linear kid here and we have lateral kid. And they have a dialogue, which is going to explain to us exactly what we mean by inclusivity. Okay, lateral kid, you're first. Jiggers, it's your mom. Quick, hide behind this pane of glass. But she can see through it. Just close your eyes and she'll disappear. <laughs> you're right. Mom's gone. You saved us. Thank you. Now, uh, as Poet Laureate, I began a project of uh, poetry pals around the world, children in schools in Haiti and South Africa, a youth empowerment society on the streets of Victoria, and, um, and we're initiating a project in the Northwest Territories with kids up there. And we soon discovered that those kids didn't have pens, paper, pencils, books, or even food to eat, so we started fundraising. And this is a uh, hard example of how you can make change into change. We have taken old coins and old bits of hardware and transformed it into steampunk jewelry and we've raised thousands of dollars. In South Africa, one dollar is worth eight rand and we've been able to educate all kinds of kids. 800 school kids in Flying Street School who are all age orphans and this month my granddaughter's pen pal, Dante Chania, is going to become the first Zulu, Zulu IT specialist in South Africa. So we're pretty excited about that. There is an example of positive change, something we can do in our own small ways, using the power of language and our imagination. Now, I want my Holy Choir members to help one more time. There you are. I want you to take the left-hand part of the audience, Did you take the middle part of the audience, and you take this part of the audience, and I want you to lead them in making an empowering chant for change. Donuts are us, dog is good, and genius. So, come and lead your people. This is the donuts are us section. This is your section, and this is the genius section over here. Okay, all at once. Dog is good. Dog is good. Dog is good. Dog is good. everywhere. Use your words, which is what your parents said to you as children when you were frustrated. Use your words. And the Holy Choir are uh, going to pass out Timbits to all of you. Uh, that is your Panis Angelicus, your Holy Wafer. Eat it and go out and multiply. Thank you so much.